What's that? Proton, dude. Proton what? This is a proton. <laughs> no, this is a proton too. Proton what? Proton skeleton, bro. Oh, damn. <laughs> What's going on guys, T-Pot here, NV Astro here with said Hendo, AKA. Yo baby daddy. That's right. And today, we're gonna be talking about the Proton. God, come on man. This is supposed to be a dad. No, we're gonna keep this rolling because who cares man, we're gonna keep it rolling. Let's go ahead and jump right into it because we have a skeleton version Proton right here. Yeah, you're used to seeing the one with the canopy, right? You, you got, a lot of you guys may not like the canopies. You it's know, okay. You got, you like guys like we got some for you too, baby. So hey, the Proton, let me tell you, it does like eight different configurations. And let's go ahead and start off with the skeleton version. So first off, let's start off with the arms. The arms, you can put four inch arms, you can put five inch practice and race arms. So the race arms are these right here. They're a little bit skinnier. And then the practice arm a little bit thicker, which provide a little bit more durability. Yep. Of course, me personally, that's what I'm going to run it. Oh, check it out. With the practice arms, you guys that like your individual ESCs, they'll fit. Hey, they will fit. They will. Because they're a lot smaller. Not only that, but five and a half inch arms to fit five and a half inch props. Because I know HQ and Genfan are working on a five and a half inch prop. Oh, it's gonna that's be That's going to be a little beast right yes, there. Sir. So, so, next up, let's talk about some key features from this frame. So, real I'll let you go ahead and get started with it. Okay, check it out. One of the main things that I really like about this frame, uh, the fact that we spent a whole lot of time figuring all this out is it's months. this whole bottom is completely smooth beveled screws they sit in there completely flush you see that that makes it really easy for when you put velcro or your little sticky pad or whatever you like on the bottom to sit on there nice and flat your battery sits nice and flat and everything is really even another great feature is it will fit this is a cicada 30 amp all-in-one board on here with a unify race with the Foxier Mini Micro, uh, and also the Axie with the UFL. And so that really makes for a really, really low stack. This is a 20 millimeter uh, standoffs, which you as you can put, see, it just you looks right. Put, if, if it's too tight for you guys, you guys could also put uh, a 20 millimeter, mm -hmm. 25, 28, and I think 30. I'm not sure if it's 30. If you need that, Tom. <laughs> it's very, very versatile. You can fit just about any flight controller configuration on here, and just get your stack height the way you want it. Another great thing about this, obviously, when you go to take off an arm, you have five screws total. Three on the motors, two right here on the inboard. Very easy. I mean, literally, you probably 45 seconds or so, you can take this arm off, swap out, your, uh, swap out your motor to the other arm, and put it back on. It's that easy. That's what this was meant to be. Something easy and versatile. And everything has a spot, too. So uh, if you guys decide to order the skeleton version, you're going to get something very similar to this mount right here that will mount specifically for an Axie and your two antennas for either Spectrum or FR Sky to be kind of like out of the way from the props and all of that. Absolutely. So everything on this frame is has a spot specific spot another thing that i really like has a specific spot for your strap that way you won't have to slide it underneath your um flight controller stack or anything like that and i don't know if you guys could see it in the camera but the receiver is actually in there there's a little space between the arms and the main uh plate to kind of fit your either if you have like a bc maybe a cap no i don't think a cap will fit in there yeah, but absolutely. like a bc um the receiver how we have it here or um, anything you want to fit in there, like Wiring, maybe an LED whatever. or something, some wires in there. It's really nice. So let's move on to the let's, plate. Talk about let's the talk main about plate. the heart and soul of this thing. This is what holds all of that quad together. This aluminum 7075 plate here. Your screws for your uh, your um, arms go into it. Your screws for almost everything goes into this. Everything. Dude. And this is what holds it all together. Your canopy, everything. Dude, if you go with the, the canopy. Tell the best part about this thing. Dude. Here's the best part about it. He's the guy. He's pushing me here. The best part is it's got the butter mount, baby. What do you know? Butter mount that's on the Tokyo is now on the Proton. That's oh, what this is all about, baby. The butter mount isolates vibrations coming from your motor going into the flight controller. Now, you don't have to worry about that. Don't worry about it, silly soft mounting motors nope. don't worry about any of that put your butter mounts on put your screw through make your stack you're golden and i would and actually recommend butter in, baby. <laughs> butter. i would recommend you guys to build the um the proton with a long screw all the way through the One stack long you screw. don't have to worry about those oscillations oscillations because of the butter mount that's just that's right and not only that dude you forgot to tell them about a 20 by 20 stack too Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah, man. That is just, <laughs> how did that elude me? 20 stack. 
You see these little holes right here, these closest ones there? That's 20 by 20. That is perfect for you guys that want to run these newer style stacks that are very, very small, very, very tiny. And with this particular, act, you could do it with these oh, motors. Yeah, those motors, motors that don't, don't draw a whole lot of amps, you could still do a 20 by 20 stack. This is going to be awesome. Changing the game, baby. Changing yeah. the game. I don't know how I left that. That was a beautiful part. I know, man. I mean, yeah. You be living stuff Oh, and also, here's, look, there's a, there's a look at the, the That's the, the race arm. That's the race arm. Five inch. They're all going to look similar to this. This is it, baby. What else you got for us? Let me see. Let's take a look at the canopy. For those people that do like canopies, like myself. So, just like the pro, uh, the Tokyo, actually. Two screws right there. Dude, Mike is a genius. There was, I love canopy uh, frames, I love canopies for me too. personally, but companies out there never figured out the way to mount your canopy without having to fall off every single crash. Every time. Never. Yeah. Until Mike designed it. I don't know how he thought about this, but I know he's been He didn't hours do it just now. once. He did, he did it, it twice. twice. <laughs> so, if those people wondering that a canopy is heavy, it's, it's really honestly not because it only takes two screws, too, to take off and you're inside working on your quad, having to replace whatever you broke, whatever it may be. And then you have easy access to your solder joints in case you need to solder something. And for those people, I know a lot of people ask me, will Orivo stack fit in my Tokyo? And it would, it would fit in there very tightly, though. But the Proton was designed with these large openings. That way your uh, Revo boat and the Revo will fit that's right no problem so what do you have in here you have a speed x i have a speed x i have the fr sky uh f4 board and i have of course the unify and then of course to reach uh to be able to reach your vtx you have a little slot in there and then this is one of my favorite parts of this frame so the, the little stuff take it out take it out let's go the little stuff you can find this in the store so you take it off Antenna, you want to put a right handed antenna, you screw right in there. Right in there, Ooh, put your left hand right on now. there. It doesn't even matter. Cold. Whatever you want to use, you can put it on there just fine, man. There we go. Oh, no, we failed, but hey, you can do it in there easy. Literally takes like 10 seconds to do it. And these things are awesome because I just came back from MDX. I was skeptical about the axes because they let me down before. But these things, let me tell you, they're Those great. Are right. They're great. And the awesome thing is that. You can put them on that on skeleton too. version too. Check this out. This is this is where you want to go to keep everything nice, neat, flat, something that's out of the way, something that you don't have to worry about knocking off or something like that. Sticking an antenna up and out like that is just for the birds, man. It fires into your your props. You gets knocked off, cut on, caught on branches. Go with something like this. First of all, this works really well, and secondly. You just save yourself so much money from not tearing up antennas all the time. Now, thank you, Axie, for making them. But uh, be honest with you, I don't know if I want to change to anything else now, bro. I like these. Uh, I really like this W. So, hey, go get you like 50 of those. Bro. They should be in the store. If 50. not, hey, get notified. <laughs> Put your email in. Whatever you have to do to get notified when they get back in stock. That's right. And, and since we're talking about the store, hey, right now, pre-orders, I don't know if... While we're making this video, the pre-orders are up or not. But to just buy this Proton, you could either get the canopy version or the skeleton version for only 50 bucks, dude. Only 50 bucks. You get a free arm in there, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't, 50 you bucks. probably won't that even need cheap. it, but you get a free arm, man. Dude, dude if, I was, if I was in sponsor, I'd probably give Throwing like away money. Like, I'm absolutely <laughs> loving the Proton. The Proton is great. It's been great. Honestly, I was a little bit skeptical about the aluminum plate, but hey, it was great. Works great. Now that butter mount too, you don't have to worry about nothing, dude. This is just like perfect. <laughs> perfect. Butter, this yeah, is like a perfect butter. frame. Love it. Perfect frame. So hey, go buy you like three of those while they're on pre-order. Only 50 bucks because after that it's going to be $65 to be able to get a Proton. But hey, right. with that guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you still have any questions regarding the Proton, whatever it may be, please leave them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And peace out. See ya.